rising everyone it's Shalonda and I'm back with another video I'm just sitting here taking it all in <laughs> again gratitude and grand rising to all the soul siblings ancestors guides source universe earth hell <laughs> I'm just sitting here, right? I just I'm I'm in this energy of pleading the fifth to a certain extent. And it's um it's it's grounding me. It's grounding me. I I wanna use the term humble, but it's more hum I feel like it's more um humility. You know, I'm I'm someone that can take the daggers in the back because I know how to take them out and lick the wounds. I feel like this whole journey has been about self care and self healing. Something I've had to learn how to do at a very young age. You know, I, I think as above, so below, and even higher. So it's almost like earthly parents and biological parents and you know it's, it's it's always has been this this thing about just me against the world man like my back up against the wall man just throwing blows battling that masculine and feminine energy conquering demons and shit it's 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 just a thing, but I don't feel bad about it. You know what I'm saying? I take all of those particular things, whether they're good or bad, you know, so-called good or bad. And you know what I'm saying? Hell, I guess I have to use that inner alchemy, you know what I'm saying, in order to tame it. But I just feel like just not being too specific <clears throat> when it comes to science and politics and all of this stuff and things that I feel these people have been doing and using to mess with the minds and alter things. Things that are naturally occurring in beings that have been ordained or anointed. Using AI and tech and all these things in order to try to co-create with God when, or a source when, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there is no particular Mm. mistakes you know I, I i i just don't i feel i feel it's outward things that 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 ruin things is is ideologies and um education and all these things that they use to break down the individual chain the minds of the people and train them To blind them and bind them. And I won't allow it. Just being real reserved right now with my energy. And I know that there's, you know, um, there's someone out there. I feel like, again, it's still, we're, we're back in the energy where I was on, I'm, I'm on one thing. My heart is saying one thing. My mind is saying one thing. My body is doing another. And it, it feels like it has to do with the soul, uh, soul contracts or um, uh, soulmate. The, the twin ray and the twin flame energy here. And also the way that we all kind of communicate without with higher and lower selves and energy and soul on a soul level or a solar level. And I see all the trickery when it comes to, you know, the bloodlines and, and heirs, right? The fowl of the air, beast of the field. It's a push and pull energy. And I have to be, again, aware of it all. Right? So, But at that, you know, and, and I feel like, again, whatever it is, everything has been against. Or people have been want, wanting to make decisions for me. Leaving, you know, this, that's why I chose this image today. It's, this has really been the image that I'm channeling today as to what this is. Like blind faith or 
something to that, to, to that, you know, but, but, but still wanting justice for all. It's not just me. It's just making things right. It's order in the court. I feel like between <clears throat> mother and father, masculine and feminine, when it comes to this education, uh, so-called system that many I, I know that many have come and wronged me for no reason that were supposed to help and assist me but they just took over or they blinded me and then and, and tried to co uh, create whatever they wanted to I feel like some people are coming out of that energy and it's supposed to feel like it's too late, like things have been sealed, things have been taken. There's usurpers and, and, and vipers in the grass. But I'm just really channeling source and I'm really hoping and holding on to that strong connection between me and that mate. Whoever it's going to be. I know source is forming someone right now. And... And I feel like people, because I stand on what I say and I change, if not, that people, you know, may, may, may use that to their advantage. My, you know, my silence sometimes. I think can be scary for those around me. It's scary for me. You know? Especially when I know I've been wronged. But I'm also a forgiving person. Or, or a forgiving goddess. I just want the truth. I just want to be around those who I can trust. Hell, I'm all about a love, a good love story. But I'm, I mean, it's just like loyalty over everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know that people can repent, which means that basically you've gone in the wrong direction, but you're, you're, you're straightening things out or willing to go an, the, another course, right? And, and, and try and, and not turn back to those old ways. I know there's a lot of strange things uh, seen and unseen that are going on around me, but I got to have faith and, and trust and knowing, a sense of knowing that source is working everything out for me. And when it's time for me to connect with somebody on the 3D, I will be safe. But right now, it's just like it, there is not trust issues. It's just a sense of knowing that I have to be very good to myself right now. And that means, you know what I'm saying, not putting myself in situations where I can, I, I can sense everybody that may have wronged me coming back. Parents, earthly parents, you know, heavenly uh, parents on the heavenly realm and things like this. It's kind of because I think people know that I can fly the fuck off the rockers quick. When I feel like I've put so much into something and I've loved so hard and I've tried so hard and I've been wrong. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot to be on one person's plate. And I know that people knew that. And, and, and they came in and they added to the misery of that. There was no assistance. There's no in, in, in times of need or when times of overwhelmed or I couldn't keep up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like these people use those times in order to exploit me or, or, or try to mark me or make me out to look some kind of way when I'm fucking running a whole kingdom. You know what I'm saying? By myself. We talking world fucking leader energy here and people want to take, take it and act as though that's not what it is. They talk about science. I am the fucking science. They talk about black magic. I am the fucking black magic. So at the, at the end of the day, I cannot let nobody else come in here and try to tell me otherwise or say I'm being cocky or conceited or anything. I, I, I have no choice but to embody master masculine and feminine because I've been abandoned and, 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 and left out as an orphan or the cornerstone that the builders rejected. But I'm a very loving person. And once I'm loyal, once I cho choose and select people to be in my life, you don't got to worry about me going against you. It's a never been a motherfucking thing. Never. But once I see you for what you is, 
everything is going to be fucking questionable that comes out that that comes out of your mouth or the energy that's but but it's all about energy for me now because I can sense that I know somebody feels some kind of way and I feel some kind of way I can't see all the things specifically and who all are doing them, but I know what's going on to a certain extent. I know people have tried to put my name or drag me or sign me into something or do some shit like this, right? And make and, and also have it so I miss certain opportunities to the point, the point where Source had to come in and block it because my heart is just like that. I couldn't do it. I said, okay, that, 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 I can sense this, but maybe. And at the end of the day, there is a sense of knowing. There's a sense of knowing that there are some kind people out there and somebody right now. Because people want to make you feel like you alone and you have no one. Those of us that are of the elect. And that you're not nothing. You know, and I had to think about it. It's these soul siblings, some of them that I don't, you know, visit their platforms or don't, you know, connect with them. But the things that they have dropped to help me see. I have nothing but gratitude for those people that didn't change, even if it seemed like they were veering over to go on the other side. They it, it seemed like the energy comes back. Because I can see good, good people that really are just doing what they're doing because they love what they're doing and they are here to help as angels or earth angels or fallen angels or whatever it is. I was thinking about Shemyaza Nem from Enoch last night, right? I was thinking about the energy of someone trying to make me out to be a scapegoat as if because all of this energy, especially when it comes to masculine energy or outwardly masculine, okay, um, Joint or the kings joining together to take down, you know, a certain energy. I think it was a fear of that, of a feminine, in, in my case, I feel like, again, because these instances happen over and over again with it, different individuals. And I feel like it, it, it was just that. Maybe people feared that something that's, was, what, that, that's within me. And so they felt as if they had to go against me to take me down. But I think that some people were able to see. And that's the only thing, like I said, I have to stand on at this point in time. I'm not giving up no opportunities. I'm not, I'm not putting down my crown. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, giving up the throne. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to keep going, even if it feels like I'm standing still, because it seems like sources just has me here. And if I want to move forward, it seems like Again, I, I, that I am waiting on that consort or that, that, that com companion. But there's no more guessing games for me. There's obviously a disconnect here that is on another scale or another level that I can't. Do you see what I'm saying? And I'm, I don't like to use that word can't. That is hindering something here. There's, a, there's some type of blockage and it's, it's made to make it feel like I'm not naturally this or I, or I can't achieve that or I don't really have it. But I feel like it may be something that is a for protection right now. So it's, 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 it's not even stagnant anymore, but steadfast. But I can't say steadfast. We're moving. I'm moving forward. So almost like I can feel all the stuff that I felt coming towards me is is ceased, and it's, there's just this steady love here. And it's so funny that that song came into my feed this morning as I consumed or fed myself, not myself, but I'll look at it like this: as again, I feel other soul siblings have led, um, have lended their voice. Or their, uh, their, their, their uh, extended, uh, uh, you know, um, some type of helping hand. A lot of these people probably don't even know each other, don't even know who they message is for, and they still do it, and it still helps, and it still, you know, and that's, that's what I love about people that just keep it real, whether we agree all the time or not. 
It's like real, recognize real, and I appreciate that. I, I, I really do. When you, when you're in the world and you think you got these glasses on and you can see these that they live, you know, and you're just searching for other souls because some people lack them in this day and age. So it's all about balance, like I said. And I see all these different, and, and with the legal system, with the, uh, uh, all of these things, I see the attack. You see? With lineage and genealogy and all of these, you know, these wrecking balls that have been sent in. All of these wrecking balls that have been sent in. While I'm on a tightrope and I'm just like, damn, I'm still here. It's, it's a miracle that I'm even still standing here. And, 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 and still able to say I'm a force to be reckoned with because of source. There ain't nothing. It, it's almost like I'm just in the, you know, I'm just feeling this energy. Like King Kong with fucking Jane or no that's Jane and what's called Tarzan <laughs> but with the with the woman in this hand and this this is what this is how I see myself when I get to these points where it's like that hand is there and I'm just in the middle of it and when I close my eyes it's kind of like you know the it, it, you know him closing his hand and holding me in so, some kind of something to keep me protected and keep me safe While I'm doing, you know, and, and, and I feel like that's the same thing. That's the same way I, I, I feel when it comes to the people that are that don't have a voice, that are less fortunate. If, if all this, a lot of this stuff is above my pay grade, then I can only imagine, you know what I'm saying? People that don't see any of this. But still need somebody to speak for them. And it's just what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong at the end of the day. And people can change. So again, all I'm asking today, like I said, I'm just sitting here and I'm just taking a lot of stuff in and I'm just seeing all of the 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 wands or or daggers, come, you know, that it's kind of like they've been frozen midair. And I'm just ready to take off. And it's just like I'm like source. Go on here and show me the way. Show me the way, please. I, you know, and I just tell you this right now. I just feel, you know, the only thing that I have an insecure uh, feeling about it's like man I haven't been able to tap in but but or or connect you know what I'm saying and I don't know what the I can't figure out what it is why why I'm not I know it's I know it's me it's no I know it's for me to do but I'm just figuring this source trying to tell me it's the wrong time because again I'm seeing this sense of duality or doppelganger energy here as if you know people if, if some of us have been split or fragmented mentally and physically do you hear what I'm saying Split. And I'm telling source, don't let them do that to me. Please. I'm I want to be me. I want to be the one. You know, I want to be the face of me. I want to be the one to live my life. I don't want nobody else taking my shit. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Could you imagine what pressure you know have been on rulers or um, kings and queens in the past and they have a whole kingdom of um, somewhat, uh, I don't like the word servants. I don't like the word servants, but do you know what I mean? This is why they have people to do this and that and that and keep up with the chores and do all these things because they have to, they are the, you know, they are the <laughs> kind of like a guiding light or they are the you know ones that have to use their minds 
They have to be at ease. They have to not be worrying about what to cook for dinner, what this, this running over here. Do, you know what I'm saying? That's why I had nannies and shit. You know what I'm saying? So again, for me to even, I'm just even thinking about like source, what kind of God do I fucking serve to even have me make it this far without any of that? And knowing that people are making it, looking in and making a mockery of it. And still having a smile on my face and still looking to serve source every day and say, what's next? What's next? Even when it feels like I don't want to do nothing, when it feels like I'm not doing nothing, I didn't do nothing to feel. There's always something going on around me. It's like my head is like this fucking something and it's like this planets and shit is going. It's just like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's this universal glow. And just being able to get, take information is transmitted and send it back up to source to tap into your most high self. Even if it's information that's coming from, I feel like all of this is being taken into consideration from soul siblings that are helping out, even whether they know it or not, they've said something that triggered something, right? I, I was watching Snow White yesterday and thinking about that red apple. And, and even today, just really a balancing act right now as to what I'm saying here, not going too far, not saying too much, but touching. Source said you have to come in and touch on these different things about the people that's close to you that have been against you, the people that's far off that have been against you, the people that want to come for you, the people that want to jail you, the people that want to do this. Just speak. I, what you saying ain't even going to be what you saying is what the fuck I'm saying. And, and just know the, the peace that you feel right now is the abrupt ending to all that shit. Even the words that are said here and the words that are un, unsaid that people know what direction or what I'm, I'm saying here. They can fill in the blanks. They can discern the rest. It's like throwing those seeds or casting those seeds out. Because I see them. I see I, the, the whole thing about this empath or just being, again, a sensor, OK, or an oracle. You have just what you need to know what you need. So if I'm checking this person out, there's something about you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, all that good and everything what you said. But there's something. And that's the something that I see. And that's what source needed me to see. Next. It's just. That's just what it is. I think that's that Sagittarius. Because again, I feel like, again, we're dealing with this Empress energy that's embodying or Emperor Empress energy is embodying the whole deck. You're embodied. Some of us are, again, those star children or those. we. It's, it's like we are the ones that we have been waiting for. And we embody. We can turn that dial when it comes to the Zodiac, right? Dealing with astronomy, you don't even know that's what you're doing. Dealing with numerology, you don't even know that's what, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's source. That's source. But man thinks that they can come in and contaminate or do these things, cause these leaks or, you know, whatever they're doing and they use people. So I can't be mad. I can't be mad at the individuals that may have wronged me because like I said before in a video a while back when we were playing, when I first pulled out my zombie cards. And that woman's arm is sticking out of the grave with with those jewels on it. And it's a shallow grave. And she's just, she's she's there. And 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 the mad scientist with the with the male um, with the masculine energy on some kind of chain. And he's in a lab laboratory that remind me of I'm telling you this Fauci shit like it's just sources just show me so much. I can't you know what I'm saying? There's something going on with it. There's something bigger when it comes to this whatever they're doing with this so-called Wuhan and all this other shit. It's just so much more. And again, I don't want to speak too much on it because sources telling me not to even go into those things, but let them know, you know that I fucking know. And they, they, they not smarter than God. They're not, those titles mean nothing. When you're dealing with people that are corrupt when you're dealing with soulless beings that want to mess with the creation of source. 
that want to mess with co-creations of source, what he's putting together, people he's putting together. And these people are using jail and, 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 and imprisonment and all these other things mentally, physically, and spiritually to keep people away from each other. Where you have to hide what's fucking real in this world today. Where they have to trample on on love and, 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 and just keep on with the three of swords to the hearts of people in order to keep this thing going the way that they want it to. But if we can really realize it's not, it, it's up to source, but it's up to us united on one stand front, not letting these people use whatever they have, education, technology, science to divide us. We have to be able to discern and see what's going on here. They devised their plans. And some of us here are, are here to demolish them. Because they think that they're going to get their dirty, stinking, nasty hands on what Source has created to turn things around on this, in this world. Today, they have another thing coming. I won't run and I won't hide, but I tell you who will be. There's not one drop of fear in my heart. The only reason why I'm not able to connect is because the outwardly bullshit and all of this other stuff that people are doing in order to confuse the situation. To block out people's mind memory to tap this whole advancement in this uh, What do you call it? I play I put a whole bunch of videos in the group American Aborigines Unchained on Facebook. And I don't agree with every single thing that's being said in there. But again, Source had me today go. He wants me to listen today and just feed. Feed. He gives me something. I find a way to give a, either, either an image or a note or something. Possibly this speech. It's fuel. It's almost like he is demanding we set fire to the rain. But I'm very calm and in a very soothing, very vibrant, I feel, energy today. Very just winter takes all, just bearing. Oh, I just can't tell you. It feels like it's a hopeless, right when it feels like it's a hopeless situation, it is a steady love. Like, it's almost like I'm ready to just lift off or some shit. I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> it's weird. You know? I, I, it's like I've been sitting here with my arms extended out, just open, open, like, you know, damn, why why I'm hearing that song, um, come on in and uh, save me. I can feel your heart crying out to me. And I feel like there's just this, <laughs> there's always been this big boulder in a way. It's almost like when it uh, says that Christ, um, they put him in a cave or put him in whatever that area in Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus or Yeshua. And that they put the rock on there and they came back and it was moved or whatever. You know, it's making me think about a blockage in the pineal. It's making me think about a stone, you know, a dried out. Or again, these people taking or zapping or taking or, uh, you know, pooling on your energy when it comes to the ace of cups or your cup overflowing. Right. That nectar when it comes to Venus and that whole energy. It's like during sleep, these people are doing things. They're probing. They're doing things. They're, and I'm not going to even say people, I'm saying these beings, okay, earthly or other. They're creating illusions and holographic images of people or using a doppelganger energy of you to uh, have them do certain things, right? To mind control these, these puppets that they've created 
you know, that are um, supposed to be representations of you to do certain things that may uh, bring some kind of shame or something. But the only thing I have to stand on is I am me. I am source. I've been through the fucking fire. You understand? And I have been totally refined. It ain't no motherfucking lie in me. And whatever I say, I feel coming straight from source. I know it's coming straight from source in that I'm not here to deceive no dang gone body. And I know people like to say you can't bring everybody, but I say, God damn it, source told me something else. It's the ones that's in alignment that's coming. It's not even nothing that had to be forced. It's already, it's already done. He has given me those eyes to see. The soul of a man, the soul of a woman to see through the illusion. Even if it don't seem like everything is lined up or I don't have all the answers, it's enough. And in and, 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 and source and the ancestors are going to handle the rest. There's something very cutting here. There's, there's, there's something very, yes. And people don't understand that them using all of these outward things and all of these things in order to try to control the narrative. Is the reason why people are going to start waking up and being able to see straight through it. And then they're not going to regard just like they came here not to regard the old or the new. We're not going to regard what position of power you're in. It's over. That type of control over the mind, because that forget religion, forget education. Forget, they like I said, it had I mean, the actual text in the, the materials. Right. It had to be your mind first. To lose that faith, that confidence, that pride and all those other things that that build. People and then nations. This is why I question everything. And I see them in all the different divisions, plotting, plotting, plotting and planning and sources just, yeah, oh, that's what it is. OK. And he's plucking and plucking and plucking. Because whatever I'm meant to do here, I didn't come and bring all this, all these burdens and all these and build all these bridges and everything to end up not going on and doing what he has or they have. I say they because I'm talking about the ancestors and source. It's all one for me. Have me on this planet to do. There's nothing going to stop it. It is written. I have said it and it is done. Whoever and I, and I'm looking at this in this way, it's, it's either do, it's do or die. So that walking through that shadow of the, va the uh, valley of death is kind of like, you know, whatever I do walk into, I'm all the way ready because this is going to be that. And I and I fit, have a sense of feeling I know. It's safe. That untouchable energy is why. This is how I know that it's the other people that's pretending to reach their hand out. But never really coming forth. I walked up to the darkness and stood there. To, to the to the to the let's think about the uh, the movie um, Never Ending Story in that, that cave with the nothing in it, with the eyes glowing in the darkness. I walked up to it. And no one has come out. There's something calling. I go to it and it won't even be able to, it's not even able to face me.
Don't wait until I'm asleep to try to do things. But I know now that I'm protected there as well. Something happened. There was a hammer. I don't know if it has something to do with Thor's day or Thursday, but something happened. The gauntlet or something, something happened here. I'm just trying to figure out what side of the damn thing my head rolled over onto. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's like that. Those who call evil good and good evil. Right. So I'm looking at, again, outwardly feminine energy. Are, have they been protectors or have they been uh, persecutors? Right. Again, I put up that image. Hold on one second. Maybe that's why. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is the energy here. Okay, and Source just showed me. Source just showed me. See? See? Because I made judgments on certain energies in the past, and now I'm questioning. There's a battle here with heavenly parents. Right? And school districts and all this other stuff that they're talking about that really has to do with those of us that are going through this. Or we're on this stairway to heaven energy. Jacob's ladder and all of this here. Meeting up, matching up with soul siblings in a soul tribe. Those that you may want to let back in because you, you think you can trust them now, and, but you're wondering what angle the angels are coming from. If they're fallen, if they're not, if they fall in. Again, for the God, for, again, because I'm thinking about this when it comes to idol worship. And what's in, 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 in the uh, not worship of God or walking with God. Sons of man, sons of God. That which is natural, that which is law or lies. So again, at the end of the day, what lies beneath just came to mind. And it's going to be this energy here. And I won't be the scapegoat to be that energy. Because that's what they're doing, trying to assume the, the holiness of Israel and give it to something that's demonic or something that is an idol and then cast out or vilify the original holy one and cast them out of the kingdom or out of heaven. So again, earth angels in my eyes are angels or those who are of the heavens that just whatever they were supplanted or again, um, subdued and replenished or placed in earthly situations into a certain time. So they knew I was coming. They knew you were coming. And there's other hosts that have been hosting or holding a situation somewhere. But it's really, again, all about the original energy. It's all about the originals. Whether we're talking about the ones that came in here from overseas, that met with the ones that were here in the Americas, whatever we're talking about, it's all about those original bloodlines and lineages. They're a rarity right now, a rare gem or jewel. And we are not the ones to have to be mandated to take anything that man says to put in our bodies or our vassals. I might not work exactly how they are building them to work today, but there ain't nothing like the real thing and it is a preserved energy. And sometimes I'm frustrated because I want to excel. 
I'm thinking like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Do I want whatever they given? You know what I'm saying? So I could be on the level of these newer creatures and beings. It's like old world, old world God versus the new tech energy. And I struggle because of that. I struggle because of that. That is my one thing that embarrasses me sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. It makes me feel inadequate or it had at one point in time, but I can't, I can't let go. I can't let go of what, what, what that original vibe, that's something that's in me. I don't even care. I'll hire some motherfuckers that got that. That's loyal then. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But it's almost like sources telling me this one, you not going to touch. Ain't going to be no taking to jail. Ain't going to be no mandates. Ain't going to be none of that shit. This one is not going to be touched. And I, I'm frustrated a little bit about it. But I have to I have to believe that, again, this is why he's sending me these individuals to view them or as a, a overseer or something at this point. But not the same thing as what it was in slavery time. Actually, really. Honoring the people that are bringing and bearing the fruit and bearing these things, right? Not putting them in disguise, honoring them when they're alive, when they're here for what they're doing. And not having no jealousy or nothing like that is just selecting the best of the best and letting them do their thing because they have, they're paying homage to source and ancestors and because they are those guiding lights. And one guiding light, how can, you see what I'm saying? How can I want to sh stop or block the light of another light fucking being? That don't even make no sense. We came here to light this shit up. <laughs> I don't even understand jealousy and all this and envy and all this other. I just don't. I don't. The only thing that bothers me is when I see somebody trying to assume or I see that they ha they're building somebody or something that's like me. That is that get God don't like ugly and he don't like no fucking idols. And this God is don't like no idols either. So, of course, if I see them building someone and I know that this person that source is showing me this person and, and actually showing the cord from me to this person that they're ciphering my energy and supplanting it into another being to take my position in my spot, then you got to go. Just in the queen of swords, come in and chop your motherfucking ass. It's just off with your head. And, and some of these people know that that's what they're here to do. It's off with your head. Ain't no questions asked. <clears throat> Especially when I know these people are backing these energies and exalting them and making it like I don't even have a chance and I'm still here and I'm still vibing. I'm still fucking shining. What can be against me? Everything. But at the end of the day, untouchable. Because I don't I don't I'm not here on no malice or no nothing, you see. And if they have another me out there somewhere, some doppelganger or some shit that's doing all this mind control shit, it is because they know that they couldn't do it with me. It ain't enough money in the world. I have sat here and had to eat canned fucking vegetables because, again, people closest to me even have been possessed at some time. And I have to had to sit here and be with them and sit next to them and sleep in the same fucking house. You understand what I'm saying? So it don't matter where I go or where I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm that. I'm going to have to deal with this. I have to go through those motions. I have to go through these things in order to size a motherfucker up real good. So when I do sit on that throne, I'm ready. Plucked and pulled right out of something that, again, they would look at as illiterate or something that's ghetto or something that says bad words or, you know, what I'm saying someone who does these particular things where society would turn their nose up. And he said, watch this. With that, what we read the other day about don't even use that other kind of it's like you be, be free to be yourself, express yourself the way you need to. Somebody going to get it and some people are not. I've always been myself. I just am a very, some type of person that has a lot of something to give and I can reserve it. I can chill on it. 
I can be funny and sometimes I can be very serious. You know, it's just, again, that, that, I, I, and I love all those parts of myself. That's what we are. I take what I have and work with it and use it and don't give up. And I, and I, and I say people should do the same. You may not have all the words. You may not be able to pronounce the words. You might not be a good reader. You might not be. I've seen people that weren't good readers. And now, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a beautiful thing. I don't know why I'm wanting to rant so much. <laughs> and I said I was not going to talk so much. I'm just. I don't know. I'm just something to just be here today. And I feel like there's something somewhere I'm supposed to be right now. But again, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I, um, it must just be here. It must just be here. Because I know what they're doing. I know about the dirt on my name. I know about these fake people out here doing these things. I know about the clones and the government energy. I know about the... Inf you know, the infrastructure, the construct and all these things again. And I, I know the things and then source handles it. And these people are all taking crafty counsel with their three of pentacles, hiding under these, you know, in these churches and in these, uh, you know, these, uh, these government run buildings and all these other things, all these different departments and stuff like that. And they can do all they want. It's, it's taking a whole world right now to try to keep one or a few people back. From what source says is going to happen. I think that there are higher beings already here. And we in the five of wands energy. There is again a war in heaven. And there are some that are protected and some that are shielded and some that are hidden. And some of us, unfortunately, we're supposed to be, but we still have to speak. That's another thing that I'd say, source, why? Why? It's because it's, it's, it's unfortunate. I know what I'm saying has to pass through different layers of this caste or class system. My story is just not my story. It's the story. But at the same time, again, we're... Someone else might have to, I, I'm only worried about source judging me. I'm not worried about no damn judge and no courtroom judge and what I'm saying. I really think, I really know that. The only reason why these people want to get their hands on is because once they get their hands on you and they can constrain, restrain you or, and, uh, uh, or get you locked up or something like that, then they 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 think that they win. They can use their mandates and their laws and their things to try to get chosen ones. And I'm just thinking Sandra Bland right now. Right? Regardless of again, what type of stories these are, no disrespect. I know some of these things happen and some of these people, some of these things are questionable. But it's about the energy it carries and what it did. That was my waking up moment. The Kanika Jenkins thing. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, all these people. It's almost like I'm walking with millions of ancestors behind me. So what the hell am I worried for? And it's almost like the people that are uh, that are showing up but not showing up must be the ones that are having something to worry about. Because source is going to send the right person at the right time with the right resources to do what it is that we are supposed to do. And it's not going to feel like I have to be wondering. It's not going to feel like chaos. It's not going to feel like, is this person here or there? Or what is it? Or this time, oh, this is the only moment. Or what is going to be. Something that is, is on a, a level of purity. And it's going to be something that is going to be done. Where I'm going to know 
what the hell it is. I don't have to question because that's what I'm, I'm like, source, I'm tired. I'm tired of the puzzle piece. I'm tired. I'm tired of guessing. I'm tired of wondering. I'm tired of people playing around with me like I'm some kind of servant or something. Got me running around here. I'm tired. I'm tired. Playing guessing games and shit when I could be using my energy for something else. I'm tired. Whatever it is I tell, I'm, I'm asking and I'm, when I'm speaking with source and the ancestors, just can this one thing just be easy for me? Can this one thing be where I just step off into the shit and do what I have to do? Please, just this one thing. I haven't complained much. I've told my story, but it's not like, oh, why me? Why me? No. But I'm saying when you, I, I want to know that this is it, I want it to just flow. When you ready. Too many obstacles down to the minuscule, too many obstacles, too many financial energy, whatever, to try to embarrass me and things like that, blockages and stuff like that. To try to make me seem like I'm, I'm, I'm less fortunate or or, you know. Some type of widow or beggar or widow being left behind by, again, her um, earthly uh, counterpart or consort or whatnot. Some unwanted orphan child. And all I could think is, oh, every single person can walk away from me. I got source. <laughs> you know. That's the only energy, but it's, a, it's it, yeah, that's crazy because that's the only energy that I'm like 100% on that's not tangible in the ancestors. Like, no, really, truly, the ancestors. So, that's enough. I feel like it's just like enough, my child, is what I'm hearing. As a little girl, I used to think when I would say, God, when you ready, when we about to take this world back, <laughs> I know you got something. So you made us different. You made us special. I know you're going to be. I know it's something special about us. They say this about us and like this and that about our hair or our skin color. When this when I was younger or whatever, you know. And and I said, I know you got something. So. I want to be a part of it. <laughs> And I would have a dream like as if when the time is right, I did. It's, it's, it was like this, like this activation, but it, it, it kind of just was like that. Like I said, it's kind of like that hand is going to come out. I'm even thinking uh, the ace energy from, from the tarot or a Torah. That hand coming out of the clouds. And it's kind of going to, it may not look exactly like that, but it's kind of going to feel like that. Because nothing else matters, right? Nothing that I'm leaving behind matters, right? So it's a fresh, clean something. None of these documents, none of this bullshit, none of this nothing. I already know who it is, who I am. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that. Because I was thinking, oh my goodness, I should have did more when it comes to my family tree. So it's like I got it. All these obstacles, how the hell could I? You see what I'm saying? He's saying there are people working behind the scenes. That's the part that gives that that made me give up hope before. Or me working hard on my businesses and seeing what they're doing, and I could feel the constraints on my platforms at times. And then when they would loosen it, right? When I would be quiet or something. And then the more I talk again, they would tighten it. And I've said, dang, I don't even want to do no more. You know, all this and all that and all that, man, damn, I don't even want to. It made me not even want to do nothing no more. But I still won't give up. And it make me think sometimes I'm doing all this for nothing because I'm about to move on to something else. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing all, I'm meant to be here running things or doing something in a, a role of leadership. And he's like, you already are. Just use your voice. <laughs> Lift every voice. Use your voice. These people are going to go on and do greater things. And you are too. 
because it's coming from a place of love and purity and honesty. It's coming from an upright or a righteous place. Mindset. So again, sometimes it seems I'm just here and I'm just centering myself and I'm just thinking and I'm just, but it's also manifesting. It's almost monk energy where you're not supposed to be doing anything. You're not supposed to be worrying about, y'all know how I keep on talking about I hate to wash dishes. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be washing no damn dishes. You ain't supposed to be doing this and that. You're supposed to have somebody helping you with this. You're supposed to have somebody. I sent these people to do so, even though they're not right here in front of your face. Some of them did not fold. Some of them did exactly what I had them do. Because you are trying to do exactly what I have you to do. And that is where it is this equal.